Hello everybody, it is Badger Wild, and we are back with another Space Engineers sort of a combat theory video, I guess would be the, the way to talk about this. Uh, we're talking about this today because, and I'm going to use the current in-game system, I'm doing this on a Saturday, so uh, I don't have access to the missile script anymore. There's no, there's no missiles, uh, the beta is over, but the beta test did show up something that I found rather quite interesting in a theory that I think is going to happen with Doctrine in Space Engineers. A couple of months, or not months, a couple of videos, I don't know why I said months, videos back, I did a video where I talked about whether or not you could take down the missiles in Space Engineers, for those of you that are wondering what I'm talking about, these particular systems here, this missile system. And the thing is, now, if you look, it's no longer called the Missile Launcher. It is now called the... Well, this is called the Missile Turret now. Uh, but what it uses, it's now called the Rocket Launcher. And during the beta test, these were renamed to rockets because they are not truly missiles. And that was because now, with the current missiles, the, the current... AI system that's now going to be coming off of the beta, we discovered one thing very particular. Uh, one, yeah, missiles are rockets, and two, custom-built missiles were highly effective. The few that I managed to build and launch at ships, I found, uh, yeah, you could launch at least four of them. You were guaranteed at least a hit. But there was something else that I also noticed. And this comes down to weapon core. So if you guys, once the beta comes out, you'll already be ahead of the curve on this when it comes out. So you'll be able to utilize weapon core effectively. We're going to look at a, one, we're going to look at a neat little system, but two, I'm going to explain to you why this is going to work. Most of the missiles that are fired uh, are mostly <clears throat> small ship, small block missiles. And this is very interesting because, yeah, we can't shoot down rockets, but you can dodge rockets. But on the other hand, missiles don't move as fast as the rocket launcher does. The rockets, I believe, move at like 200 meters per second. The missiles would be capped out at 100 meters per second. So they're roughly half as fast. Now, what works very good against that? Well, in vanilla, the thing that works very good against it in vanilla are these interior turrets. Now, what do I think is going to happen with the update coming out? I think you're going to see more... Not just small drones, but you're also going to see large purpose-built ships in large block format. Uh, because the everyone knows the interior turret is probably one of the best anti-fighter turrets in vanilla. It can eat, it fires at a very high rate. <clears throat> it's extremely accurate and fast. Almost faster target acquisition than the, the Gatling gun. The problem is it doesn't fire at a high enough fire, cyclic rate or have the range to catch one of our current rockets coming at us. However, it is great for dealing with small fighter craft, and we've seen this a lot. So, what do I think is going to happen here? I think you're going to see a lot of purpose-built ships, and you're going to see corvettes that will fly with the other ship, that will move into position and begin firing mass volleys of interceptor fire at oncoming missiles. Uh, this has happened before because I've done testing... Uh, where I'm, I'm checking out the frostbite scenario and I've kind of, you know, dipped my toe into it. And notice this, when I built a vehicle with two Gatlin guns, that could just shoot the missiles that come at you because there are actually player-made missiles in there. But looking into this, how is this going to benefit us going forward? And how is it going to benefit in... How is Weapon Core going to play a lot better role? Well, pressing G here and pulling down the 30mm auto cannon from Northwind Weapons to show you guys that I've got this on. We've got a whole lot of options here. But today, the one that we're going to be looking at right now is target large grids, target small grids, and repel mode. Now, if I understand repel mode correctly, and I, I believe I do. Repel mode will basically fire at anything that gets too close. You're probably not going to want to turn this on, but what you are going to want to do is target small grids, because most missiles are going to be small grids to cut down on time and weapons, um, materials and things when building them. 
Uh, there are plenty of guys who have been building player-made missiles for a long time. They're not a new thing in Space Engineers. Uh, there was one guy who actually built a small enough missile system that could be launched from two um, doors that could be on the side of a ship. These could open. These were turned so that the bottom jams of the doors were to each other, creating one big door. They would open simultaneously. A missile would be pushed out by two large pistons. It would be turned on, released, and it would take off and attack its target. So I think what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to target small grids. And for this particular one, we're going to run over here and get one of the drones over here at this facility. And we'll be right back. Yeah, we've got a stinging adversary coming in. This gun should be locking on to it in a minute. Yeah. So as you can see right here, this is what I've basically been talking about. We, we know that player-made missiles are going to be small weapons. And here's the thing, and a lot of, a lot of other YouTubers have stated this. The most powerful weapon, pound per pound, is the warhead. Like we see right in here. Let me find it here. And I will... Warhead, warhead, warhead. Yeah, it's this thing. This thing here is by far the most powerful weapon you can get in Space Engineers. It is basically a spherical warhead that will go off. And when it goes off, it creates a big, giant explosion. Player-made missiles are going to be probably the most powerful weapon you can get your hands on. Anytime I've ever seen a weapon made with one of these things, it, it can guarantee just hit a target and really hurt it. I've also tested it against other ships. Uh, if Keen can fix some of the problems with the AI in which the AI only targets a specific area and just keeps targeting a specific area, these missiles are going to be a big deal. Now, with that, there also comes the small ship version of this. As you can see here, this is going this is a very tiny, tiny explosive compared to this. But these are still more than capable of ripping a four or five block hole in your ship easily. Uh, even in large grid ships, it's going to be a five. And, and that's a, like I said, that's a five block. That's a big, large ship. Five, four or five blocks is what you're looking at in terms of damage. Um, but that's where this little feature here is going to come in handy. And I think that's also where... the interior turret is going to be king because really this turret has had very little love given to it by the community we really don't like this thing now we do have the the rail guns we have the assault cannon we have the artillery gun for punching holes in ships and hitting you know maybe hitting something good we have missiles for doing wide surface area damage. We have turrets. The, the Gatlin turret is best in just precision firing on enemy weapon systems. So you can just set it to fire on an enemy's weapons. Uh, in weapon core, at least. I, I think you can do that in vanilla. I'm not sure. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'm not in vanilla right now. But it can target other key systems and just start tearing them apart. This here, though it's not that good at hitting players... It is good at tearing up other enemy small ships, and that's where it's going to probably shine the most. This thing is going to be that little turret gun that you put on your ship and you're flying in. The, there's going to now need to be purpose-built corvettes that fly in with some of these interior turrets mounted to them in layers so that they can just... And it just interior turret, turret farms that just fire mass volleys of 556 five, ammo and just shred other targets. It's also going to be something good for anti fighter capability as well and anti drone. These are going to be something, and honestly, you probably will just build large caliber drones that will work. Um, pull one out here just as an example of a type of drone you could pull. Those of you who know what this is, this is the Assailant Mark 1. It's a ship when you attack any pirate vessel or anything, this pops out. It's kind of an odd looking ship. It is basically an old school drone made with a couple of scripts and some timer blocks, I believe is how it's built. And this thing is armed with two interior turrets on either side. You'd basically have a couple of these, and that, that's what I'm saying here. 
with the new AI beta update, the interior turret is going to be your best friend for dealing with small annoying turrets or small annoying drones and missiles coming at you. It's going to be the best interceptor because you're still going to be able to dodge these missiles as they try to attack, but this is going to be what ultimately neutralizes them in the process. So I guess the moral of the video is embrace the interior turret, folks, because it's going to be your new best friend fighting things. Now, is this going to affect modded weapons? Nah, as you can see right here, these old modded guns are still very effective. This here, if you guys are wanting to know what it is, it is the Northwind Weapons Pack for Weapon Core. And they have all kinds of cool stuff. I'm eventually going to do just a review of this. It's going to be a very long video because there's a lot of weapons in there, just to give you an idea. I'm going to run down here to Northwind. We have a pretty decent supply of weapons here that I would have to show through, especially this monstrosity. Oh my god, I'm trying to build a ship with this thing this big. Uh, but we're, we're not ready for battleships yet. <clears throat> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed the idea of embracing the new in or embracing the old interior turret and realizing that the new age of space engineers that's going to come with the next update is going to pretty well drastically change the way everything works in space engineers you guys are going to be building some of the well, we're going to be able to build drones we're going to be able to build missiles but it is going to affect ship building afterward uh your main your main ships are either going to need some type of drone escort or you're going to need a very healthy supply of interior turrets probably built in like the old battleships of old where you would have your main guns on the central axis and then the sides of your ship would just be a basic anti-gun turret farm similar to the old iowa class uh battleship like the missouri the missouri unlike the other ships had a heavy amount of anti-air gun fire firepower because the missouri was the last iowa ship that was built but it was also a ship that was built primarily for anti-aircraft because that was quickly realized to be the biggest threat to a battleship was aircraft. That's one of the reasons why it doesn't dry hump on the bottom of the ocean like the Yamato does. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay safe, stay frosty. I am Badger Wild, signing out.